Hey guys, Giver here. Hey guys, Giver here. Just wanted to do an impromptu video. Um, I've been talking some about joining a draft. Uh, and so yesterday I actually got to participate in one. This is my first time playing Magic in a long time. And so I just kind of wanted to go through some of the things that I drafted. What worked, what didn't work, and maybe uh, maybe it helped somebody out. So this is going to be a real quick video. I ended up drafting uh, black, red, um, I don't know why. I just that's just kind of the cards that that came to me. So, um, kind of go through the red picks first. Burning Fist Minotaur. This guy was actually pretty good. He uh, came down early. Um, he's pumpable. He's got first strike. He he did some work. Um, Blur of Blades actually a pretty useful uh, card to take out one of their one of their little minions or just kind of make it make their minions a little bit worse. And it also does a little bit of damage. Of course, the braids. I was able to pick up two copies of those. Just great removal. Uh, this Kenra Scrapper. Um, anything with Menace actually worked out really well. If you if you play a lot of removal um, and just have you know one of their, and they only have one creature on the board, then you basically get to attack without uh, without blocking. And you'll notice a lot of the creatures in here have Menace. It just kind of worked out that way. So th it's actually kind of turned into a, a removal slash, um, not, not really a burn deck, but more of just a aggro style deck. So this guy was good. They get one creature down. You, you attack, exert it, deal four damage, or just deal the two, whatever. It just kind of gives you some options. These Molochs, I think I had two of those. They're pretty good with all the removal spells that I had in my in my deck. Um, this guy would be able to, to get pumped here and there um, with the plus one plus one counters and he also has first strike when he's attacking. A lot of the opponents forgot about that and they'd make some blocks that didn't do him any favors. So uh, that was a pretty decent card. Hyena pack wasn't anything special. I pretty much just put him in there because I noticed I didn't have very many high cost creatures that, that were very big. So I wanted to put in a couple. This Granatic Titan was the same thing, you know, six mana for a five four, but he does have menace, so that was good. And also, if you get him in your early hand and you're having mana problems or something like that, anything with cycling is uh, is pretty good. Um, that way, you know, if you don't need him in the early game, if you're having mana problems, if you if you need to draw a spell, whatever, then uh, you can always kind of throw him away and get something else. So I paired it up with black. Um, Black was really the only other color I was getting. A lot of people were, were taking the green and the white, and then blue just really didn't seem like it had a whole lot in this set for a draft. I, I don't know. Um, the Ruthless Sniper and the Mummy, those were just there because they're one cost. I noticed I didn't have a whole lot of things that I could turn or that I could play turn one, and also the Sniper was actually pretty good because I had some uh, cycling cards in this deck. And those little minus one, minus one counters... Uh, they add up. Also, the Festering Mummy, whenever it dies, minus one, minus one counter. That was pretty good. Uh, for a two-drop, this Kinder Eternal, it was decent. 2-2, um, two, two, it's not anything that, to write home about. The Afflict 1, at least you'd be able to uh, to do a little bit of damage whenever it gets blocked. The Camel, that was pretty much worthless. I didn't have a Desert, so he was pretty much just in there to fill the a two-drop slot. This Grind... It was pretty good. You get to put two minus one minus one counters on trigger creatures um, for only two mana. It, it, it worked out pretty well. The Marauding Bone, Lasher, Bone Slasher, I'm sorry, um, him not being able to block wasn't that big of a deal because I was more of an aggro style deck. But with all the other zombies that are in this set, uh, it wasn't too bad. Three mana for three three, that's not bad either. This Doomfall was actually really good as well because I've got so many things to put minus one, minus one counters or deal three damage or that kind of thing. Uh, a lot of times their, their big creatures would only be, uh, you know, the only the things that I didn't have an answer for would be the only thing that the opponent would have left. And this guy would just be able to, uh, or this card would just be able to make it go away, you know. It, it wasn't so good if the if the opponent has a ton of creatures on the board because they'll just sack like a little 1-1 one, one token or something. But still, I, I found a lot of uses for this. These two, I don't know why I even put those in there. Uh, target player discards two cards, they were worthless. I should have put some other just junk. I would have been better off just putting some just junk creatures in there. It doesn't matter. Lurching Rot Beast, it was a zombie, so it worked with my... Um, with my... What are they called? The Marauding Bone Slasher. It also cycled, so if it it, it worked with my it, it worked with this guy, and it also worked 
with the sniper as well. I can cycle and do minus one, minus one. So there's a little bit of synergy there. 4-2, he died pretty easy, but um, there were a lot of times I'd lay him out. The opponent really didn't have blockers um, for my stuff with all the removal, so it was doing four damage, so you can't really... Um, can't really complain with that. Never actually drew this card, couldn't really play it. This guy was pretty good. Um, anything with lifelink, playing an aggro style deck. Um, I noticed if they were playing aggro too, you know, I, I wasn't blocking, I wasn't doing a whole lot of, uh, of preservation in my life. So this guy, when I would get low, would just help me, um, help me come back a little bit. So decent. And then this guy was just another uh, larger creature that I kind of played. Um, didn't really have anything better. I didn't draft anything great. I mean, you can see from this deck, it's pretty much just a bunch of, uh, it's a random assortment of junk, but that's kind of why I like drafting because some of the things that you would think is junk and constructed actually turns out to be pretty good in, uh, in a draft setting. So for my land, I just went with the basic 17 lands. Um, I think I did, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I did eight mountains nine swamps i mainly did the nine swamps because the majority of my black card or i had more black cards that required two black than i did uh red cards that required two red but for the most part it was kind of split down the middle so i just kind of split my lands down the middle went with 17 didn't have a whole lot of problem with uh with lands so um first game uh i played against um a guy that he had admittedly said that he messed up with his deck. He, he made it too big. He tried to put too much stuff in it. So that wasn't that bad. Uh, I went 2-0 and in that one. The second game, um, I won the first game of, of that series pretty easily. When this deck went off, it kind of went off and, and ended games really quick. Um, but then the second two games, the second game I just lost outright. The third game, I lost that one myself. I wasn't aggressive enough. Um, I kind of held back my attacks, and in the end, I got I got the opponent down to like three life, but he was able to come back from it. So I lost the second match. Um, the third match was a draw. Uh, the first game I won very quickly. The second game it took like half hour. This guy's deck had so many tokens and crazy generating things, and I couldn't get through it. It was just ridiculous. It took up the whole amount of time. And then the third game uh, they called they called time. So we had five rounds left to play and then it was just over and if nobody won then it was a draw and in those five rounds i got the guy down to to four life if i would have been able to have just a couple more rounds would have been able to win that one but anyway the the time left and it was a draw uh fourth game i won two and oh against a, a, a person who was a fairly newer player so didn't feel too great about that one but you know it is what it is and uh overall I was not in the top four, so there was no prize payout or anything to me. But I was, I think I was like fifth or sixth, tied for fifth maybe. So not too bad for my first for my first game um, or my first thing in a, in a while. So anyway, I just wanted to throw this out there. Um, it's just kind of my experience with drafting. I really like to draft. That was a lot of fun. I'll be going back. And, uh, and yeah, that's it. If you see anything that uh, maybe was a, uh, if you like the deck, then let me know. If you thought, hey, you know, th this deck is a piece of shit, it sucks, what are you doing? Then, uh, you know, if you've got any comments or, or anything like that, then, yeah, let me know. Uh, kind of the nature of draft is you get what you get, and you can't really be too mad about it. Um, some of my extra cards, you know, cards would come around to me, so I just kind of grabbed a couple rares and things like that just, just to get them. So I did grab a couple things that I didn't already have that I could throw into play sets and in the sets and whatnot. All the commons that come from here and some of the commons that I had left over from the other drafts, I just went ahead and threw in the box. So um, those will just be given away in this next in this next giveaway. So that's it guys. Thanks for watching. See you later. Oh, one other thing guys, before I forget, you're gonna have to excuse the mess. We're in a bit of a, hey, I film in the basement, but anyway. So, look what we have here. It all came in. And I'm actually getting ready to go to my local store and trade a bunch of old crap that I had laying around, non-magic related. 
I'm going to try to get two more boxes. Two more boxes. Not of Kaladesh. Maybe an Hour of Devastation and a Amonkhet or Aether Revolt or something like that. Something that we hadn't uh, opened on the channel yet before. But uh, just wanted to let you guys know we got a lot of Kaladesh coming your way. And uh, yeah, that's it. I think I'm going to open up maybe this guy. Maybe this guy right here. I think I'm going to open up him tonight. I'll get that filmed. Maybe get it put up uh, tomorrow or Monday. Or shit, tomorrow is Monday. Yeah, Labor Day. Uh, tomorrow or Tuesday. But uh, I think a Labor Day box opening extravaganza sounds pretty good. So anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.